good morning today we move on to the next topic in parallel programming which is characterizing your application in the previous class we have seen what are the performance limits which will make an application uh, not reach the level which is been set by the user and we have we have even seen what are the different hardware capabilities that can be managed by the user so that you can improve the performance of a application but when i say an application is this application performance dependent on only the hardware no it is even depending upon the software so now we'll be seeing how you can change the uh, software uh, code or optimize the code so that it leads to better performance of an application and for that as i we have already seen we go for using some profiling tools so profiling tools will help you to understand the uh, in depth behavior of a application so that you can optimize it accordingly and when you go for optimizing ultimately the performance of your system will be improved uh, next we'll be seeing how you can go for empirical measurement of a clock frequency and energy consumption and how do you go for tracking the memory while an application is being running coming to your profiling tools here we basically use two types of profiling tools one is your call graph the other is your hotspot coming to your call graph so this is nothing but as you all know a graph is nothing but a collection of vertices comma edges right so here call graph as the name implies you draw a graph depending upon uh, how which function is being uh, is calling the other function so based on that you establish a, if main is calling printf so you will establish a link between these two so these two become your vertices and this becomes your edge so you are connecting or establishing a relation or a link between the two functions so since you are establish a link between the two functions you call this call uh, tool as a call graph so call graph for any given application depending upon the program you have written you can generate a call graph based on the calling procedures and once you have done the call graph the next profiling tool i told you is nothing but your hotspot so out of all the functions which you have seen assume scan if add increment or printf so you try to understand which particular function is taking more amount of time for its execution or which particular function code is very much complicated or you try to analyze which particular uh, function is utilizing more amount of memory so once you analyze in terms of all these aspects in terms of time in terms of memory or in terms of uh, complicated in the things more amount of sorry memory more more amount of lines of code so if you are able to analyze the code in terms of these three factors you try to optimize it as i told you you can go for optimizing that particular code which will lead to the better performance of a system so these are the tool hotspot and call graph are the two profiling tools which will help the user to understand which function is related to which particular function or to uh, how the two routines are related how two routines are depending on each other and which particular routine is to be optimized once you have done with that the next we here will go for seeing is empirical measurement of clock frequency and energy consumption so when i uh, empirical measurement what do you mean by empirical measurement it is in terms of real world scenario or at the time of execution what is the clock frequency of your application and what is your energy consumption so this cannot be theoretically calculated without any calculation theoretically you cannot set up you cannot say that my clock frequency should be some 0.9 gigahertz so theoretical measurement cannot be done right so in that case we go for empirical measurement and when you want to measure this clock frequency we have to use some tools and the basic tools we'll be using here is vtune profiler and amd code excel and these two will tell you what is the clock frequency of a particular hardware unit or a core 
which on which an application is being run and we have another uh, empirical measurement tool which is nothing but benchmarking suit so here benchmarking or a benchmark when you go for a parallel application benchmark here is nothing but a software or you can even call it as a program which will help you to analyze a particular aspect of an application. So if I want to know the clock frequency of a particular application, so the basic benchmark programs I'll be using is spec, C, spec CPU or HPC benchmarks. So for this benchmarks or this is, is a program. So for this program, I'll give my application as the input. So when you give this application as the input to this particular program, it provides me what is the processor clock frequency and the detailed information about the processor performance characteristics. So these tools will help me to know the processor clock frequency. Similarly, if you want to go for the empirical measurement of energy consumptions. So if you even want to know what is the amount of energy being consumed uh, for that particular application because why am I taking all these factors here ultimately I want to improve the performance of my application right so here you can go for using power meters and sensors right or you can go for using tools like inter power gadgets or uh, linux power stat to measure the power usage or you can go for using intel vtune profiler which will give you the energy consumption for each of the code or a specific code, whatever you want. Similarly, you want to even track the memory usage while you're running an application. So in order to know what is the amount of memory that is being used by an application, we can go for using Valgrind. This is a powerful tool and this is used to, to know what is the amount of heap memory usage or the memory leaks and it helps you to understand how the memory is being used in a program. Similarly, you have VTune profiler and this VTune profiler will help you to know the memory consumption at various levels starting from uh, starting from your main memory up to the level of your CPU. And this can be for a serial application or a parallel context or you can even go for open MP or MPI. Uh, memory profilers which will which has a tools like score p and uh, mpi which will, mpi here will have an inbuilt profiler which will tell you what is the amount of uh, memory that has been consumed so the ultimate goal of all these tools is to make you understand what is the amount of memory used where the memory is not been efficiently used or where, where the memory leaks are done leaks are done is memory is not been properly utilized wastage of memory so all these factors all these tools will help you to identify these factors so we'll move on to the next topic in the next class